Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK giving you another R19 feature update and over the last few generations of Cinema 4D we've seen some really big improvements to the viewport viewer and Cinema 4D release 19 has given us a few more which includes two incredible features which is self reflections and also this amazing one which is depth of field within the viewport okay as you can see from the example in front of us this is an incredible opportunity to produce some amazing looking work without even the need for rendering and it's amazingly quick to put together so here in this example I will just show you really quickly so we've got a plane and we've got our figure and I'm just going to create a very reflective material just by adding a Beckman okay to my reflectments channel and dragging and dropping the two now they both have reflections on them and they are currently reflecting a uh, sort of a default environment at the moment but not reflecting itself now the easiest way to do this is to go to our options and configure and then down the bottom okay under OpenGL we have reflections and if I just open that up now you can see that we have screen space local reflection and if I just put a tick in that box you can see that we now get realistic you know on the fly live reflections of what's going on in our scene it does sort of like depend on the view that you were looking at and you can adjust that using your ray distance and things like that um, but you can see that this really gives a wonderful new effect to the viewport within Cinema 4D and the second one that is absolutely incredible to just add is this depth of field now to do that I need a camera okay and I will look through that camera and we give it a focal length which is what we've got and under options we add depth of field and if we just go over to our physical camera okay we can maybe change some of our f-stops to sort of a, a smaller bloom there you go you can see that instantly we've got you know blur going on in this in this scene now I often find that having played with this that it's easier if you want to change your focal distance and focal length to give it a focus target so I'm just going to create myself a simple null and then I'm going to move it up somewhere useful and then under the camera you've got its uh, focus object I just drag and drop that null in there and then I've got a much easier way of seeing what is and is not in focus and you can see that just how quick that is in no time whatsoever we are getting realistic looking depth of field blur within our scene in no time whatsoever okay you can also control and change the reflection image and environment that we see in front of us simply by going into our texture and then looking at our editor and you've got an environment override so if you've got an HDRI map that you want to use instead or an image then you can just simply drag and drop that into there okay and it will use that instead and use these rotation tools to be able to change the rotation of the HDRI map environment that you have put in in order to show exactly what you want in your reflections okay this is just a quick feature update but as you can see it is incredibly powerful and gives us some amazing looking views within our editor without needing to render and I will catch you in the next R19 video